14 Water Conservation Tips Water is our most important resource for the preservation of life, and something we need to protect. No water, no life. Frugal living, and limited water use are good for your wallet, and future generations. In this video we will go over 14 water conservation tips, that you can use in your home. But before we do, remember to subscribe, so you don't miss out on future videos on frugal living, and saving money. 1. Take shorter showers. Long showers are costly, so limit the time to shower to only soap up. Wash down and rinse off. A typical shower uses 5 to 10 gallons of water a minute. 2. Check your toilet for leaks. A leaking toilet can be very costly so watch out. To find out if your toilet leaks, put a few drops of food coloring in your toilet tank. If, without flushing, the coloring begins to appear in the bowl, you have a leak that may be wasting more than 100 gallons of water a day. 3. Stop using your toilet as a wastebasket. Only throw toilet paper in toilet. Every cigarette butt, or tissue you flush away, also flushes away 5 to 7 gallons of water. In worst case, your sewer clogs up and a plumper is needed and can be costly. 4. Insert a plastic bottle in your toilet tank. A good tip to save water when you flush is, to put a plastic bottle in your toilet tank. Fill in 1 liter bottle with an inch or 2 of sand or pebbles in the bottom to weigh it down. Fill the rest of the bottle with water, and put it in your toilet tank, with distance safely away from the operating mechanism. In an average home, the bottle may save 5 gallons or more of water every day, without harming the efficiency of the toilet. If your tank is big enough, you may even be able to put in 2 bottles. 5. Install water-saving shower heads or flow restrictors. Install a water-saving shower head. Your hardware store stocks inexpensive shower heads, or flow restrictors, that will cut your shower flow to about 3 gallons per minute, instead of 5 to 10. They are easy to install, and you won't notice a difference except a soft spray to your head and face. 6. Take baths. You should consider using a bathtub, when taking a bath. A partially filled tub uses less water than all but the shortest showers. Using a bathtub limits the amount of water and you know how much water you have used. 7. Turn off the water while brushing your teeth. Use a cup when brushing teeth. Before brushing, wet your brush, and fill a glass for rinsing your mouth. After brushing, rinse your mouth and toothbrush with rest of the water in cup. 8. Turn off the water while shaving. Let the bottom of the sink be filled with a 2 to 3 inches of warm water, in which to rinse your razor. 9. Check faucets and pipes for leaks. Regularly checking faucets and pipes will make sure you don't have leaks. Even a small drip can waste 40 or more gallons of water a day. So check carefully for a dripping tab. 10. Do full loads only when using dishwasher. Make it a habit to wash full loads only. Every time you run your dishwasher, you use about 25 gallons of water. 11. Do full loads only when using washing machine. Fill up your washing machine every time you wash. Your washing machine uses 25 to 35 gallons of water per cycle. So use this water to wash all your clothes at once, and run fewer cycles. 12. Don't let the water run while you clean vegetables. Rinsing under running water can be costly. Rinse your vegetables instead in a bowl or sink full of clean water. You can thoroughly clean your vegetables, and avoid using excessive water. 13. Keep a bottle of drinking water in the refrigerator. Always having a bottle of cold water in the refrigerator. You avoid having to run tap water for a while waiting for it to cool before drinking. 14. When doing dishes by hand, don't leave the water running for rinsing. Avoid having the water running when doing dishes. If you have two sinks, fill one with rinse water. If you have only one sink, first gather all your wash dishes in a dish rack. Then rinse them quickly with a spraying device or a pan of water. Anyway guys. What do you think about the tips? Let us know in the comment section below. Leave all your thoughts there as well. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe.